Hey guys, what's going on? It's Stokonic here, and today we're going to be doing a full overview of the LR Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose and Zamasu card from base form all the way up to LR, including the Doken Awakening medals that are required for their Dokenings. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Doken Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the beginning. Black Thought Goku Black. Now this card has a leader skill of tech type, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50%. His super attack is Black Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy. His passive skill is Sun Goku's body. At the start of the turn, recovers 7% HP, attack plus 20% when attacked, up until 80%. And his link skills are Fear and Faith, Nightmare, Prepared for Battle, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, and Kamehameha. His max stats are HP of 8190, attack of 8496, and defense of 3947. Uh, now, he kind of has a lower defense there, not really too great, that defense is really low. Uh, that passive skill, attack plus 20% when attack is up, you know, up to 80% max when he's attacked. That's not too bad uh, for, you know, a base form of an LR, you know, he can get up to 80% attack, so that's, you know, that's pretty decent, especially when you have, you know, a supreme damage modifier. The big thing about him, though, is that he can have his super attack raised. Uh, he could be raised with a future destroyed Goku Black. Now that is the card that you get from the first round of a Darkness Shrouding the Future event. Um, that's the Goku Black event. So the first round Z hard. You could grind that out and get the farmable droppable character and he can feed into this LR Goku Black. So now here if you guys are on the global side, go ahead and start grinding him up. Get like like 25 of him if you have the character slots available because as you know, Goku Black never feeds in really quick. It's just like the damn Zamasu card, um, the Merge Zamasu card. It took forever to, to get him up to Super Attack 10. But um, that's this card. He's pretty cool. I like the card art on this. Yeah, it's not too bad. It, it looks kind of sinister. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and jump into his next one. First off, he, he does require... 77 of the Goku Black Medals from the event that I had just mentioned, the Darkness Shroud in the Future, in order to Doken Awaken. When he Doken Awakens, you see both him and Zamasu. He Doken Awakens into Distorted Justice Goku Black and Zamasu. His new leader skill is Tech Type Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense Plus 70%. His super attack is God Splitter, causes supreme damage to the enemy, and Defense Plus 30% for 3 turns. His passive skill is Comrade. At the start of the turn, recover 10% health and attack plus 25% when uh, attacked at a max of 100%. So at a Transcendent Ultra Rare, he's really not that card. He also gains the Fierce Battle Link, which makes him super viable. Um, his other Link skills are Fear and Faith, Nightmare Prepared for Battle, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, Fear and Faith, uh, Fierce Battle. So he has all of the really decent, you know, Link skills that you would want on a team. Um, on the tech team, he is essentially the linking buddy for um, both the heroes and for the villains. So that, that, you know, that, that's just freaking cool. I like it. Um, he has max stats of HP of 9888, attack of 9493, and defense of 4503. Defense is a little bit better now. It went up by about 600. It's not too bad. The attack is pretty cool. He's almost hitting the 10,000 mark. Uh, HP is a little bit, little bit lower. Uh, so on right under 10,000 mark. For an, uh, a transcendent ultra rare, it's decent. You pretty much would. I, I my my opinion on the matter would be transcendent should be over ten thousand, but that is his base, so it's not too horrible. Um, he requires multiple medals to Doken Awaken. Um, he requires twenty one of the Vegito Blue medals, twenty one of the Rose medals, twenty one of the Rage Trunk medals, twenty one of the Merged Masu medals, and twenty one of the Vegeta medals. So those events are Blazing Blue Fusion for Vegito Blue. Uh, Rose Colored Terror for Super Saiyan Rose, the Miracle Sword of Light for the Trunks, um, and the Eternal God Distorter of Worlds for Merge Zamasu medals, and Surpassing Even the Gods Vegito Blue medals. Uh, he will now Doken Awaken into the LR with all those medals Merciless Judgment, Goku Black, and then Super Saiyan Rose, and Zamasu. His new leader ability is Tech Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%. His super attack is God Splitter. Um, that's a 12 key to 17 key super attack, and his 18 key plus is called Judgment Concerto. So his 12 to 17 key God Splitter super attack causes colossal damage to the enemy and raises defense for three turns. His 18 key Judgment Concerto is a mega colossal damage super attack and raises defense for six turns. So that's pretty nuts, actually. Um, 
In terms of viableness, I don't know how viable the difference between having six and three turns is, because I mean, it's cool and everything, but I, I don't know. Uh, I guess that's something I'd have to look into later when I do a, 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 an attack analysis and team building analysis video, which I do plan on doing. There is a full Reddit post that also goes over their attack. I'll be going over that later on. It'll be probably on tomorrow on Friday, or I might save it for next week. We'll see. Um, his passive skill is Zero Mortals Plan. Um, at the start of the turn, recover 15% health, attack plus 30% when attack up to 120%. So, all right. Um, I guess he's more viable on the Dokken events where the cards attack you multiple times in one sitting. Like some, sometimes they'll attack you up to five times. Uh, most of the time they're spread out throughout, but you can usually get at least four in one round. So you might be able to get a max potential, his max attack potential in one round. Um, anyway, uh, that, that HP recovery at 15% is also pretty decent, especially if you're not running him as a leader. Uh, he is an extreme type, so once we get the extreme type uh, lead out, he might be able, he'll be a lot more viable with that 15% HP regeneration because you'll have 120% lead. He now gains for Link skills the legendary power, so now he has Fear and Faith, Nightmare, Prepared for Battle, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Powder Power. Uh -huh. See, now here's where stats really come into play. HP of 14,138, attack of 17,145, and defense of 9,125. So that defense being at 9,125, and then you get the defense boosts um, on top of having... Well, right now he is the primary lead you would run. So you're having a 90%, 90% stack buff, assuming you have him as a lead and you have a friend with him as a lead. That, that makes his defense a lot more viable for defending. He becomes more of a tank. Once we get that 120 lead, he'll really be a tank because at 9,000 defense without any dupe system, yeah, he's going to be crazy. Plus, he's recovering his own health. He boosts his defense when he does a super attack, which is freaking phenomenal, and he gets his attack increase when he's attacked. So he is um, a slower card to become more viable for de to, for damage output. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's going to hit like a wimp when he first goes out to do his super attacks, but... He is going to take a little bit longer before he actually gets some good damage output. Um, let's go ahead and talk about additional information. Goku Black and Tsumasa Super Attack is God Splitter. After 18 key, they use their Ultra Super Attack Judgment Concerto. Maximum Super Attack level is 20. 12 key multiplier is 140%. And 24 key multiplier is 200%. So, yeah, it's really not that bad. Alright guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the attack animation. Um, the first one we're going to go ahead and look at is the 12 key attack animation. By the way, thank you to LR Noah because I grabbed the actual animation from his video since he has the cards up right now and he has the animation going. Um, I just want to pre-state I don't know uh, what the dupe system looks like here and it it isn't um, him at his max potential. He was not attacked multiple times in this. Uh, but let's go ahead and watch it. Regardless, this is just for the actual animation itself, not for the damage output. There they go. They're both powering up. That's such a freaking sick attack. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. Now for the 18 key super attack. Let's go ahead and look at that. Same thing here. Um, don't know if there's any dupe system or anything like that. Uh, let's go ahead and watch. It's the same card. We're just doing an 18 key now. Damn. That's so freaking cool, man. All right. Oh, look at that. And you got to dodge. Yeah, I'm really liking the fact that they're doing the double character LR cards. Uh, it started with the LR Android, and I think the yeah the, Mer the Zamasu, Goku, Black are the only other double LR cards that there are. I mean, I guess you have the Ginyu Force card also. Uh, he has the entire Ginyu Force team attack with him, but, you know, outside of him, uh, the, the, there's only two others. Uh, you know, the, you have the, the Ginyu, the LR Zamasu, and Super Saiyan Rose, and the LR Androids. I wonder if they're going to actually do that with other cards in the future. Who knows? So we have what? We have the Vegeta, we have Goku, we have Gohan, uh, we have Broly. Uh, in terms of the Super Saiyans, I guess we got th this card, technically Super Saiyan Rose. In terms of, we have Piccolo and Hercule for the other two heroes. Then we have the Androids, Broly, Frieza, and Captain Ginyu. Who else are we missing? I know we need Cell, we need an Ultimate Gohan. But who else would we need to get as an LR card? I mean, I don't think Krillin's going to be... Well, you know what, we got Hercule, so I wouldn't put it past them giving us a Krillin for an LR. I don't know. Leave, leave a comment down below. What do you think the next LR card is going to be? That's pretty freaking damn sick, though. I, I enjoy the card art. I think I like the card art more than I enjoy the card itself. You know, in terms of viability, this card's cool. But I don't think I would actually pull for him as a unit. 
I don't know, you know, I mean, but then again, I'm kind of jaded. I think the only two cards, the LR cards for summonable ones, um, is the LR Gohan and the LR Broly, and that's only because LR Broly, I play World Tournament. So if you're not a World Tournament player, you don't even technically would need the LR Broly just because you have the Super Saiyan Force coming out soon. For Global Side, if not, you already have them out. Uh, but that's just my opinion on the matter, guys. I don't know. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hit that sub button if you're new here. Thank you for joining me here today. Stay tuned. I'll be doing an attack analysis video later on today. Um, or not today. Later on in the week. Maybe the next week. Maybe the weekend. I don't know yet. Depends on how it falls into play. Uh, I'll also be doing a uh, card analysis on the other cards that received their Doken Awakenings this week. Um, as I had mentioned in my earlier video, wasn't here in the beginning of the week. So this is coming to you a little bit later. But thank you guys. Hit that sub button if you're new here. And I'll catch you in the next video.